Get ready for a ton of sequels, threequels, and prequels coming to the big screen in 2024, including some movies that were delayed due to the Hollywood strikes. Although the actors and writers strikes may have pushed back production and release dates for some films, moviegoers will still have plenty of choices in the coming year. Let's take a look at the top five movies coming in 2024. Number five, Roadhouse. Hey, fellas. Looks like you're having a Jake Gyllenhaal stars as a former UFC fighter turned bouncer in Doug Liman's upcoming remake of the 1989 cult classic of the same name, which featured Patrick Swayze in the lead role. Working at a Florida Keys Roadhouse, owned by Jessica Williams Frankie, Glenn Hall's Dalton comes face to face with some shady characters. Conor McGregor, who has fought in the UFC in real life, makes his acting debut opposite Galen Hall, coming on March 21st. Number 4, Bad Boys 4. I know what happens when you die. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence you become a ghost. will reunite for the fourth installment in the action series, serving as a sequel to Bad Boys for Life, which earned for $126.5 million at the worldwide box office. Bad Boys for Life directors Adil El Arbi and Bilal Fala are returning for the fourth film with Chris Bremner penning the script. Coming on June 7th. We could take out some truly evil people. He's stuck on the stairwell. Guys, I got a bad idea. Don't have bad ideas. Have good ideas. Was that a bad guy? These people were declared dead. None of us will be remembered. What's about to happen, Will? Who thinks when he raised the bad ones, right? Who the hell are you? We're no one. If they exist, they can be made not to. Bobby, they have fighter jets! Number three. American Society of Magical Negroes. In society. In Kobe Libby's comedy satirizing the magical Negro trope, Justice Smith stars as Aaron, a young man recruited into a society of magical black people who use their powers to ease the discomfort of white people. Aaron, however, struggles to follow the rules of the society when he falls for a woman, Anne Bogan, whom his Client Drew Tarver also becomes interested in. Coming on March 22nd, number two, Dune, part two. This world is beyond cruelty. Dennis Villeneuve's sequel continues the journey of Paula Trines. Timothy Chalamet, he embarks on a warpath of revenge against those who destroyed his family, while also attempting to prevent a terrible future. Chalamet will be joined by Zendaya, Rebecca Ferguson, Javier Bardem, Josh Brolin, Stellan Skarsgård, Dave Bautista, Charlotte Rampling, and Stephen McKinley Henderson. Newcomers include Austin Butler, Christopher Walken, Florence Pugh, Lee Sedu, and Sahila Yakow. Coming on March 1st. I'm fighting for my people. You young pop. Because you lose control. I gain it. Johnny, do you believe in me? Paul Atreides is still alive. Deal with this prophet. Show me who you are. <laughs> Back from the dead.
then. Now we'll do what must be done. We gave them something to hope for. That's not hope! Daddy! I will love you as long as I breathe. This prophecy is how they enslave us! It's not a prophecy. It's a story. I don't care what you believe. I believe. I am Paul Mordeva Trades. Duke of Arrakis. Adam Lucia Zanta. Who can destroy a thing has the real control of it. Number one, Deadpool 3. Wade Wilson? Who's asking? Ryan Reynolds will reprise his titular role in the franchise's third installment, which sees him reunite with Hugh Jackman's X-Men character Wolverine. Voted the most anticipated film of 2024 in Fandango's annual survey. The film marks the first Deadpool project to be produced by Walt Disney Studios after it. Acquired 20th Century Fox in 2019. Wait. Coming on July 26th. This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. I smell what you're stepping in, Sensei. Your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. I'm the Messiah. I am. Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Nope, I'm actually okay. Thank you very much.